Hello guys, I'm Sirfancy and welcome in this tutorial I will show you how to create minimap or just map for your VR game. Alright, let's look at what you can actually accomplish here. I have my map already here. It's kind of easily put together, but you can play with it as much as you want. You can see that all moving parts are moving even then and if I teleport somewhere else, map will go with me and the scenario will of course change. For this tutorial I'm using template from VR expansion plugin, but you don't necessarily need to have VR expansion plugin, but I would definitely recommend you to look into it, I have a few videos about that, you have link for them in the description, the plugin is completely for free and it will help you a ton when making VR game. But now let's get to this tutorial. Alright, let's get started, we will need to create new folder, I will do it in my AA files from previous tutorials, but you can create it wherever you want, that folder should be called widgets. And you need to find your pawn, in my case it's Vive Pawn character from a te basic template. Let's open it and what we will need to do is to add here another camera. Click on this VR root reference so it's a little bit easier to look at and create here a new camera. Right, and make sure that the only thing it is attached to is of course VR root reference, we don't want to attach it to anything else. Let's click on that camera and rename it. New name should be map underscore cam. So now what you will do with that is move it up and then let's rotate it about 90 degrees on the Y axis. Oh, actually we will do minus 90 degrees. Come on, dude. So now camera is from above looking straight at the character and you want to put it much higher. Right now it's in Z axis on 254. Let's go with 1500. That should be about fine. So now when you have selected this map camera and let's add component and just put here 2D and we will have scene capture component 2D and click enter. So now we need to be able to capture actually that camera and for that we will need texture target. So let's quickly create one back in our widgets folder, right click and let's put here materials and render target, right? And let's call it map underscore target. All right, if you open it, you can see that right now it's just a blank folder because we don't have anything in there. Go back to Vive Pawn character and in scene capture component we will simply select our texture target. And now we need to create widget. So back in widget folder right click and actually before widget we need to create material because you can just put to the target from camera to to widget. So we need a material and let's call it map underscore mat like a material map a mat. Let's open it. And what we will simply do is click on that material and right here in material domain, I believe, let's switch it to user interface. Click apply, then make a small window from it and we will need to put it right here. Let's take our map target and connect it to final color. All right, so now let's actually put it into that widget. Right click again, put here user interface and user interface should be widget blueprint. Let's call it map underscore hat, open it. And the only thing we will do here is to add here image and let's set its size to about 200 times 200 should be, oh, well, you know what, let's, let's do 400 times 400. It doesn't really matter, but it's easier like this, I suppose. And make also sure that you change anchors to center. Try to position it approximately on that center. So now we will click right here on appearance and brush. And let's set that image to our new created material, which was called map underscore material. All right, compile. And because we also need to put it in the game and it's generally not a good idea to put it VR just on the screen because it causes motion sickness for a lot of people, for me, for example. For that reason, we will create it as an object in game that player can pick up, look at, etc, etc. Kind of like I did with PDA in other tutorial which you can watch somewhere here. So let's click on this PP pickup cube because we will stole from it part of the code. Let's browse to asset a duplicate if you will and let's call it map underscore bp right and then just move it to your folder all right now let's take it go into viewport and let's change its scale by default it's on 0.2 let's go with 0.5 and let's actually scale z axis because i don't want it to have a cube but more of a 3d plane so unlock and set z scale to or oh, maybe one even. All right, lock it again. And now let's add here that widget. So add component and put here simple widget. Widget should be called map underscore hat. 
And that's also what we will set it to. So widget class should be set to map underscore hat. And you can see that it looks deformed, looks terrible, I hate it, etc, etc, all that. The problem is that scale is affected by static mesh scale, so it's deformed because it's Android. We can simply solve it by clicking on this scale arrow and put it into world. Alright, now let's rotate it about 90 degree on Y axis. And now let's try to position it approximately on top of that cube, so just scale it all down. And just to make sure, let's put draw size right here, 2000 per 1000. So we are sure that everything from our widget is there. Compile. And let's see what it does in the game. All right, let's go to it. Possibly even pick it up. And you can already see that it looks like someone is looking at us from above. You can see me rotating there. And if I teleport somewhere else, let's go there, for example. The whole scene has changed and it's really following me simply because that camera is all the time above me. First of all, we have seen that it was pretty hard to see our player. We can improve that by increasing resolution. So click on map target and let's put this 256 to 512. That should improve it quite a lot. It, it lost all the cache, so we can't really see anything there, but once you will see it in the game, it will have much higher resolution. And the other thing we can do with that is actually go into my hat and you could have seen that it was pretty hard to see where our character is. So let's simply put here something that will represent him. Usually would probably create just some vector graphic arrow or something and put it in the center here, but I don't have here anything like that. So let's just take something that will represent our player, for example, this button. It's an anchor set to center as well and put it approximately on the center. It should cover our player. And let's also change its color. So let's set background color in appearance to pure red. So set red to 2, green to 0, blue to 0. And we should have some great red color. And let's see how it looks in the game. And you can see that it's much easier to find myself there. Yeah, looks cool. It doesn't really cover the whole player, but this is really quick thing to solve it so you can probably create your own much better graphic there is one more thing i want to show you and that's that you don't need to have this perspective there you can simply take our wife pawn character and if you click on the camera you want to change anything you need to click on scene capture component and switch it from orthograph from perspective to orthographic so right now you will see everything from a 2d perspective not a 3d like you have seen before but you probably need to increase ortho width so let's set it to 248 oh actually 84 my bad it doesn't matter but you know you know how it is and let's see how it looks in game all right and you can see that we sort of got it it looks 2d-ish all right, now when I'm looking at it, it would be probably better to leave in perspective and just change the perspective of it. That's up to you. You know all the coding that you need for now, and that's about it. You know, physical interaction with this plugin are actually really insane. Look at that. Look at that. All right, let's ignore my ADHD, and that's about it for this tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you want to see more tutorials for Unreal Engine VR, subscribe to the channel and just watch the playlist. That's about it, and I should stop moving my hand like that. I don't know why. Um, see ya. <laughs>